Welcome back. Um, this is our first knockout tutorial where I'm actually going to go through something. First, I'm going to just explain what technologies I've used apart from knockouts. And this is just to get you started. Okay, so other technologies used. We have Toaster.js, which I use for validation messages. Bootstrap.js, which is prettiness. Uh, jQuery.js, um, that's animation and Ajax. I'm sure you know. Okay, and then in the tutorial, I have a shopping cart website. And uh, I have computed variables. We're going to work with uh, multiple view models, a login form and validation, selectable catalogs, meat, veggies, etc. And uh, let's begin. This is my cart. Okay, so on the left hand side, we're going to fill this item area up with the selected type. So if you have meat, you're going to have meat here. Yeah. Different kinds of meat, you click here, yeah, you're going to have different kinds of vegetables, cool drinks, and sweets. As you can see, when I click, it stays on there, and I, I've used knockout for that, and I'll show you in the back end. Yeah, I've got um, my different items, okay, uh, what category it is, and the cost. And then when we're done, we check out. There's my login. First of all, I want to log in just to show you. So I'm going to put in my, my details. Continue. And then I get the toaster message to say the login was successful. I can go in here and I can type in rubbish, okay? Now that uh, doesn't matter what password it is. It's just going to tell me that it's incorrect. And that's what we expect. And then as you see, after it was incorrect, it changed back to shopper. Also used with knockout. So I'm going to just change the name again. And now we're back in. Login successful. Okay. Now let's go to the code. We have different user models, as I've said. There's three different, uh, sorry, view models. Um, three different view models. That, and the ones we have is the user model. A user model has their username, the password, the items they've bought. And um, I have a verification function for them as well. So now what will happen is this verification, let's go with the verification first. This is connected to the button, to the login button. So where is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have a data bind and you can um, bind on clicks. So yeah, I have, this is my user dot verify user. Now I have it as user dot verify user because my main binding is not on the user model but rather on the shopping model so yeah we go I have my bindings I've applied it to a shopping model and the shopping model has a user he has the user we will only ever have one user at a time on the page but you can have multiple users in your database so don't get confused. Um, and then yeah, we have categories and this will give us the number for each category. You can, this is all gonna be server side code. This is just for you to see something, okay? But you can use controllers or services. If you're using MVC, you can go with that. Okay, so yeah, we would have something where we'd send in the ID and it would return back what kind, what, what its name is. We could also just after receiving the array, where do I have the array? Oh yeah. After receiving this array, we could just go through each one individually, but say now you have something in your database where you've added different kinds of categories or changed or deleted them, you would like to be able to match it up to that specific ID. That's why I'd rather get the, the ID from the database itself. Or you could send in an array that's got both the name and its ID. But we'll, we'll leave it as it is. Okay. So yeah, I've manually put these in, but these can also be called from the database and can be mapped into an observable array. Okay. But I'm not going to do that now. What we're doing now is we're focusing on how to log in and what items we can add to this current user that's logged in and 
selecting the different kinds and I want a running cost so what I first want to do is add my running total at the bottom so we're first going to go here this is going to be a computed variable and we're going to put it at the end so we'll have the rows for each um, item and then we want something else we want you see I have a data bind for this part of the body I'm going to try and T say T footer T foot yeah yeah so in the footer we're going to have the computed amount and this will be table data 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 bind text and then we're going to have total okay yeah. now we go to the card selection and we're going to get this total see this one is coming from the items in the user model so now we now have to um, call the correct scope so a user will most likely also have a total so we're going to put that in the user model okay let's go back here we're now going to create a computed variable self dot user equals ko dot computed and yeah you can have a function call your function remember to use self self is very important it helps you with scope okay because you can have many things that you can't just say this this could imply that binding our shopping model binding which would be the wrong binding to call if you're specifically talking about the user model so we need to format this I think that would be the best way to go first okay so um, we're going to receive the price but it needs to be converted to an, an integer Draw amount and that's going to give us price. Oh, PRC dot parse int. Okay, let's parse int and then PRC inside with a function. Okay, then we are going to return the amount. Okay, based on its value. If it's zero, it's not zero, we're going to add the amount. Gonna fix to fixed. Okay. Or display none. Here we are. Formatted. Okay, now we want the total to be sorted out. So let's go back to the total. Okay. Uh yeah, we have said the total is zero, so we're gonna go KO computed function. Remember the self keyword, okay? I'm gonna self, and then we're gonna need to do it for each on the observable array, and get the third category, which is the price. You know, it would be probably better if I pass this in immediately over here. Okay, and then I already have the amount. I wonder if it would actually use the price correctly. So price. Okay, we have that. Oh, we don't want to fix that bar. That's why we have it. Okay, so we'll just do self of price over here. We go amount. Leave it at amount. Oh, it works. Back to computing the price. Now we actually have a parse int that we've computed for each item. We want to traverse the observable array. So we're going to go then we're going to go int i equals 0. Oh yeah, this is just JavaScript. It doesn't matter i smaller than items 
Dark Link. Oh, let me see the package. Uh, I press this. Oh, we're gonna need mm, a total. Let's just go with num zero. Num as equals item uh, items at zero dot price. And then we just have a normal price, and that's it. And then we return the num. Okay, let's see if that works. Oh yeah, let's before we do that, it doesn't look very nice the way it's standing at the moment. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, we seem to have items. Uh, yeah. Okay, and defined is not a function, so it's a different problem. It's probably the link variable now. I hate this. It's like one of those things you always forget exactly how it must be. Oh, there we go. The total did not add up yet. One other thing. We could also listen if if num is zero, it's gonna at least show us what it looks like when it's zero. We'll have rands plus And then we'll just put it to fixed. I don't know. I don't really care. Let's go to fixed. Two. Let's make it R plus. At least it's showing, showing zero. But we still need to sort that out. Okay, so this is what you have to do. You have to use KO dot utils dot array for each and then you have this is your self dot items uh, and then function oh wait this is just item this is your item okay that there. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so you'll have um a num plus plus equals item dot price like that. And there you go. Now we have the total cost. Um, so you actually need to use ko.utils. Perhaps we should go into depth on that. But that I'll do in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching and keep a lookout for part two.